know how it goes all right. So, hi guys, it's Matt again. I'm sorry for uh, my length of absence. For to anybody who actually missed me, <laughs> I don't think that's too many. Uh, but uh, you know, there is a thing called uh, life. Uh, these things commonly known as life can get into the way of many things, and especially if you do something for like fun or to, you know pass some time, share some thoughts, um, it can get into your way a lot. Um, yeah, that's why I wasn't around. Uh, many things have happened, uh, private things which I will not share, and uh, personal things which I will definitely not share, and work things which I will not share. So, um, what has happened uh, in other things, and hobby things, and pony things? Well, <laughs> lots of things actually. I was at Galacon, had a blast, had a fun time. Um, I'm going to put some Galacon links in the description, um, so you can check out how awesome it was. I got a t-shirt, this t-shirt here, smile, <laughs> just a couple of... Um, weeks before Galacon, and I got a couple of uh, Wheel of Fine t-shirts. Um, you can also see them in the descriptions, the t-shirts I got. Yeah, um, and the videos have been uh, blocked everywhere, uh, mostly my reviews about uh, single episodes of the actual show, which is why I deleted them all and will not re-upload. So I might edit them at one point or another to make them into reviews, but uh, it's possible I won't because, you know, <laughs> if uh, YouTube doesn't want uh, journalistic uh, stuff and reviews, if it wants to be no journalistic uh, format but uh, blindly um, delete whatever the owner of the uh, actual, the, the first content actually wants to have deleted, then uh, well, so be it. It's not going to be any different. It's uh, a push about Hasbro to uh, delete those videos, and um, yeah, well, didn't only hit me. You know, in the end, it even hit Wretchedness. So uh, many of his episodes, reviews, or episodes, uh, let's watch, were put down, and so he deleted them. That is very harsh. That is painful. And um, I'm just lucky that I have them all, frankly. So, um, yeah, that's that's the thing. So I'm not going to do that. I might do react on uh, reacts on on fan videos, you know, fan made content, pony made content, and and also like stuff where bronies appear in the media, you know. But I'm also going to try and comment on other things. And, uh, you know, like, uh, who knows, uh, other news, other uh, hobby things about gaming, about music, who knows, you know, movies. Um, there's lots of talked about in the world, and I uh, was trained as an editor and a journalist, so um, I had m much time to think about many things. And I uh, think there are some things I can share with the world and you guys and girls out there. Uh, so um, you can get a different perspective, you know. Um, one of the things will be where the Brony fandom will go or should go and uh, what the basis is, in my opinion, for the Brony fandom. Um, and what differentiates it so much from the rest of the internet. That is something I consider a very important topic, and I think we should talk about that. Um, yeah, there is another thing. Um, the next season will start at the 23rd of November. I will be at the season opener party, not here somewhere else. There might be a Let's Watch of that, um, published by somebody else, Geartight. Um, links of 
his videos, mostly uh, Let's Play videos, are in the description. If he ever publishes some of the uh, meetup stuff, you might see me there as well. I am, of course, by far the oldest in those uh, meetups. Mostly, you know, sometimes there are older people than me, but I am a little bit outside of the fan base. Out outside of the fan base average, you know. Yeah, so that uh, will happen. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but there is Christmas coming up. It's going to be very expensive. Uh, and I'm in a very tight spot. So um, I have to think about how to get some uh, of uh, the uh, liquid uh, assets I need to, uh, yeah, you know, make presents and stuff. I won't have uh, three days anyway, so um, I'm going to work on Christmas. And between the holidays, I'm not working on the holidays, but I'm going to work between the holidays. It's going to be a small Christmas for me. <laughs> I am I'm quite uh, sure about that. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's that's about it. Um, I've been fiddling with uh, sound designs as well, you know, like uh, sound effects. Um, you know, my voice is very unusual, not befitting my uh, looks mostly, you know, that's just how I am. I don't really have a problem with that. I'm always easy and quick to correct people when they mistake me uh, on the telephone or something. But um, I've been thinking like uh, changing it to uh, something like yeah, systems have detected an anomaly, uh, emergency shutdown initiated, please remain calm, you have 10 seconds to live. You know, something like that. <laughs> um, what do you think? Should I? Should I not? I mean, I've got no problem with uh, posing as a robot. Uh, many people don't think that my mind works like a normal human anyway. So, uh, why not? <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, that's about it. Um, it's going to be a short update here. Um, we are already about the seven minute mark, so it's not that short anymore. Um, well, hope to see you guys soon. And uh, as a final tip, I can refer to The Big Rob, one of the guys I have uh, lately started to follow. Uh, he's a director. His uh, microphone is very shitty, <laughs> but his comments are very funny, and you have just to disregard his, uh, you know, sometimes uh, clearly shown. Uh, position in life and beliefs, both pony and non-pony, and um, well, maybe he will warm up to rarity one day or another, you know? But I can refer to him, he's just doing the French vs. Witchcraft reviews. Um, um, let's watch us on French vs. Witchcraft, you can uh, see them here, link in the description. You should actually really go there and follow him, and uh, yeah, that's my tip for the day, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.